Hello YouTubers, somebody 38 here with the review of this CRT TV Philips 24 PT something because it has a long name. Um, it's it's that 24 inch CRT TV that I bought uh, probably 15 or 16 years ago in at Walmart. Cost me 200 dollars or. 220 I'm not sure around that price bear in mind that CRT TVs they were still in use so that was a, the price and I consider the price pretty decent and it has all the features that I wanted at the moment and not too big I consider this is an odd size, I mean an odd ball in size of for of CRTs are usually usually 13 um, what else uh, 7 10 well it depends 7 inches 10 inches no 5 inches 10 inches 13 inches 19 inches 21 or 22 inches and then they bump it up to 27 then you you get the 31 33 and 36 i think is the giant giant the most giant tv ever uh correct me if i'm wrong on the comments and but this is a 24 that is not it's, it's really not that common but otherwise uh, i'm gonna play a little bit of one of my favorite consoles consoles ever the Sega Saturn I'm gonna play um, Bob 2 and I bought this TV as a gift for my birthday uh, my mom gave me the money to buy the TV but because at that time I didn't have anything decent and she sent me the money and 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 I, I purchased this thing so all right for all moms out there it's one week away from from Mother's Day so so shout out for all those, those good mothers that they always take care of their kids no matter the age so this this TV has a a nostalgia value and a sentimental value just play a little bit it has two speakers the front And I think it this would be the haunted set. One of the best features is the size. It's not that it's not super huge, but it's big enough. So well the Oh, there you go. What I have to no idea. Okay, this is a 3D platformer, kind of. Weevil, dead too. He seen one loading. Okay. This TV looks pretty sharp in person. But one thing that I noticed is the, the, the typical scan lines that you might expect, they're not that prominent. They're not that prominent like in other TVs, but I could assure you they're there. What the heck? What, what happened? What that guy's doing to me? Okay, I have to call it Gold Gems. There is 
Is it not no? Then what? What am I supposed to do? Victor. It went back to normal finally. So let's take a look at the back of the TV. Oops, they got me. Let's look at the in, in, uh, inputs in the back. All right. Here I am now at the back of the TV, and we can see the model. It's uh, 24PT6341 uh, forward slash 37, manufactured on July, I don't know if you could see that, July 2005, yeah, and always when you look at the models, the first two numbers are the inches, so 24 gives you the inches of the TV so it's a 24 inch TV down here you have your typical RF composite video component and more component I guess in and out and that over here uh, that's a S video and that's all that you need to know for the back is not exactly a huge TV but it's not a small either so let's let's switch back to the front yeah, um, here on the side you have another another um, port for composite really convenient and also you have a, a jack for headphones which make us, makes this really convenient also you have a you're playing at night and somebody's sleeping uh, you could put headphones and, and and be able to play without bothering anyone okay moving on all right now I am here looking at the menu and I don't know if you are able to see this has picture and sound features install and then on the right side of channel edit let's see what it says on features auto lock and format sound for sound house treble boost bass boost or bass boost balance ABL sound ABL sound or picture you see brightness color picture sharpness color temperature and let's see color temperature and one of the more is DN DNR I don't know what DNR stands for but I will have to look it up and put on the comments and what else contrast is on so it has plenty of features Another integral part of when you're getting a retro CRT TV like this one is to get the, the remote controller. 
this is the one for for this particular TV and definitely it helps you 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 will be able to have all the functionalities and will make your life easier this, this is not too big not too small uh, remote controller it, it uses two two AA batteries and I have that velcro right there to keep it together with the TV so I don't lose it and it has um, it says quadra surf I don't know exactly what that means but you could you could change channels those happy faces I don't know what that means on the sad and the happy one uh, out of sound CC that's closed caption out of picture exit to exit the menu obviously the blue buttons are to uh, move around the menu mute really important volume up volume down channel up channel down input your own sleep mode really cool and now that we see we have seen the remote let's move on to the to the menu on, on on screen menu of the tv okay let's move on so now that you have seen the tv in action i show you the menu i show you the remote control um what i could think about this tv a pretty decent TV if you see one on the wild in the wild get it let me get some other details because I love CRTs and this is one of my favorites I have like four and a number five coming that I'm buying from a friend uh, he knows who, who is if he's watching this video so thank you for watching Sambi 38 CRT's reviews and stay retro man don't buy a PS5 I'm just kidding I, I will get one eventually maybe like in two years when they come with the slim model but whatever the scalpers are winning right now so so that's it for this re mini review of the Philips 24 inch TV. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. Bye bye.